Hey, my little cupcakes. I have a great Christmas story for you. Santa Claus and the Three Bears. Hope you like it. Here we go on our little adventure. Once upon a time, there were three bears, a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. It was Christmas Eve, and they were busy decorating their house with holly and berries and icicles. So here's their home, and here's the three bears. Papa Bear was bringing in a new tree from the forest. Mama Bear was preparing Christmas pudding, and Baby Bear was busy getting in the way. Even though he was a baby, he was still pretty big. So Papa brought in the Christmas tree. Mama was making her Christmas pudding, and the little baby was getting in the way. The stockings were hung and the tree was decorated when Mama Bear called everyone to dinner. She put the Christmas pudding in a great big bowl for Papa Bear. She put some in a middle-sized bowl for herself, and she put some in a wee little bowl for Baby Bear. But when they sat down to eat, the pudding was too hot. So when they sat down to have their pudding, it was just too hot. I wonder what they're going to do now. Let's take a walk while the pudding cools, said Papa Bear. We can see all the Christmas lights in Mama Bear. I'm coming too, said Baby Bear, and the three bears set out together. Here they are taking their walk. They set out together. All three of them. Meanwhile, Santa had finished delivering presents to everyone in the Southern Hemisphere, and he was halfway through the northern part of the world when his sleigh landed on the roof of the three bears' house. All three bears were on Santa's list for a Christmas present. So Santa landed on their roof, ready to deliver. Their house shook and rumbled as Santa Claus tumbled down the chimney. Santa stood up and brushed himself off. He looked around and saw the pudding on the table. After eating milk and cookies all night, the pudding looked tasty and warm. Here's Santa coming down the chimney. He saw this big bowl of pudding on the table. So that looks great. Look what they left me. Christmas pudding, what a splendid idea, Santa exclaimed. It took a spoonful from the great big bowl. That pudding is too hot, he said and tasted the pudding in the middle-sized bowl. This pudding is too cold. He decided to move on to the pudding in a, the wee little bowl. This pudding is just right, he said, and he ate it all up. So he tried all three bowls, and the one he liked the most was the wee little bowl. And he ate it all up. Then Santa Claus sat down in Papa Bear's chair. This chair is too hard, he said. He sat down in Mama Bear's chair. This chair is just too soft. And then he sat down in Baby Bear's chair, and it was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. So then Santa bounced up and down a little bit just to get comfortable, and the chair broke. And Santa landed, boom, on the floor. So he tried all three chairs, and the one he liked the most was the little one. He tried to jump up a little bit to get comfortable, and it smashed to pieces. Santa picked himself up and decided he needed a little nap before continuing on his way. He took his sack and went upstairs where he found three beds in a row. Santa Claus laid down on the bed on, of the papa bear and said, this bed is too hard, it's too high. And he got up and tried the bed of, mama bear, of the mama bear. Whoa, this bed is too low, he said as he rolled off onto the floor. Last of all, Santa Claus tried the wee little bed of the baby bear, and it was just right. So he snuggled under the covers, and he fell fast asleep. So he tried all three beds, and the one that he liked the most was baby bear's bed. And he fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears had, were returning home. Somebody's been eating my pudding, said Papa Bear in a great big voice. Somebody's been eating my pudding, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Somebody's been eating my pudding, said Baby Bear in a wee little voice, and has eaten it all up. The three bears looked around and saw that someone had been, in, had indeed been there. So they came home, and they noticed that someone had indeed eaten their porridge, their pudding. 
Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear in a great big voice. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear in a wee little voice. And it's broken into pieces. Poor Baby Bear. He's broke his chair to pieces. He's so sad. The three bears ran upstairs to see if they could find the mysterious visitor. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said Papa Bear in a great big voice. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Somebody is sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear in a wee little voice. And who could it be? The three bears looked at the Baby Bear's bed. They saw lots of white hair, a red jacket kit covered with soot, from, and sticking out from the bottom of the blanket, two black boots. Who is this? So they went upstairs and they saw someone in Baby Bear's bed. Who is it? It's Santa Claus, cried Baby Bear. Oh no, oh ho 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 ho, said Santa Claus. Promise you won't tell anyone you saw me, please. Then Santa reached into his sack and pulled out a great big present for Baby Bear. A middle-sized present for Mama Bear and a wee little present for Papa Bear. Baby Bear was very happy. Can I open it, he asked. Not till morning, said Mama Bear. Morning, said Santa. I better get going. So out of his sack, he pulled three presents, and they were very happy. The three bears felt the house rumble and shake as Santa went up the chimney and back to his sled. Sorry about the chair, Santa called. I'll bring in a new one next year. And with that, Santa shook the reins and the sleigh took off into the night. So Santa went back up to his sleigh and he said, I'll bring you a new chair next year, baby bear. Don't worry. And here's the baby bears in the morning and Christmas. Hope you liked it.